Good morning, adventurers. We are just about to start our little road trip over to the Cotswolds today. But before we head out to pick up the car, we just made a quick stop for breakfast at a place we came to the other day. Yeah. We Check came here out. the other day and they we got lunch. Their lunches are amazing. They do these little like pre-made lunch salad boxes that yeah. are super affordable. But we saw that they had protein waffles. So I've got the waffle and then some yogurt on the top there and then some little pieces of strawberry and then I think they drizzled some honey on the top there. Yeah. And of course I got myself a little cappuccino which I've already tasted and it is about as good as a cappuccino can get. They put a little chocolate on the top which I like. Yeah. Yeah. And I got, well I got the exact same kind. I was going to do bananas on there and I panicked last second and changed it to strawberries but I'm happy. But I also got peanut butter on the top of mine because peanut butter is just meant to go with waffles in my opinion. The place is called Foundations Cafe. Highly recommend it. Some of the, probably the best coffee that I've had since we've been back to the UK. That cappuccino was so freaking good. The waffles were okay, but they weren't really fresh. All the toppings and stuff were delicious and the, the taste of the waffles were good, but it's not like they were warm straight from the press or anything, but they were definitely worth it. They were pretty good because they were only like five pound 50 or something, right? I think so. And you can yeah. like choose a bunch of extra toppings if you'd like. Yeah, but now we are going to head to our car, pick it up. We got a nice brisk walk. We figure we'll walk it since we're going to be doing a lot of driving. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're off. How do you feel? <laughs> uh, I already feel a little uh, nervous about this. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's not going to be that bad just on the left side, right? But everything feels completely backwards because I guess it's all completely backwards. <laughs> yeah. So last time we rented a car in the UK, I was driving because she did, she lost her license or something, right? It was right? stolen. Yeah, it was stolen. Right before I, I was supposed to drive, but it was stolen, so poor Eric had to do it. So now I get to do it. So for three weeks, I'll be a pro by the end of this, but it just sucks that we have to start and drive in a city. It's gonna be a little uh, sketchy. Actually, what I'm most nervous for are these, uh, the little tiny back roads. Oh yeah, they get pretty tight. Yeah. Uh, my my spatial awareness with vehicles I learned in Germany is not so great because I don't drive that much anymore. And if you can't tell, they ran out of normal sized cars and gave us the longest car in history. Yeah. So we have the biggest boot that I've ever seen. Yeah. We were just joking that we could just sleep back there if we wanted to. <laughs> so I don't know, parallel parking might not <laughs> happen for a while. I'm gonna have to practice that. But I don't know, I'll just take it slow, get honked out a lot and Apologies if you're the one on the road that I anger. All right, just gonna go. We're gonna die in here. Did you say we're gonna die in here? <laughs> Don't <laughs> <No>. say that. <laughs> I don't know if I like being up this high. Turn right onto St. Luke's Road. I feel like I'm too up on it. Just think left. Keep telling yourself left. And don't side swipe a car over here. Very first turn. See if you can handle it. Oh yeah. Look, that's how a pro turns to the left. Into the left. <laughs> Why couldn't they give me the tiniest car? Yeah, this car is very big. I would be intimidated by it. <laughs> don't say that, I'd say it's very cool. I wouldn't be intimidated at all by this car. This would be very easy. I'd be calm. How do you pump it down? I pumped it too high. Too no, close you want to pump sun. it up. You want your seat to be as high as possible. But I feel like I'm like. That's this. good. You, you can see. <laughs> How do you not hit the curb all the time? Oh boy, oh boy. Into the left, into the left. Here we go. Nice job. Look like yeah. at nail on it. <laughs> I'm a natural. As long as you don't side swipe a car. <laughs> I wonder. That would be an interesting stat to look up. I bet that is like the number one thing that. That foreign Tourist. drivers do, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Pop tires from going up onto curbs and hit parked cars. For some reason, after driving on the right side our whole lives, it's the spatial awareness when you're driving on this side of the car is different because 
you're not used to like gauging where the left side of the car is. Usually it's just, you can see it really easily. So you almost sideswipe cars. And when I was driving, I drove over, over a couple curves when I was taking turns and it just takes a while to get used to it. <laughs> and yeah. it makes me nervous because I'm sitting here like, oh boy, she's getting a little close. Yeah, now you know how I felt when you were driving and when you actually went up on curbs. Eventually I had to get to the point where I couldn't say anything because it was like every time he drove, I was like, the curb, the curb, the curb, the curb. And then, but 99% of the time I didn't hit the no, curb. She was just close. worrying, but I well, did hit it a couple times. it's also awkward from this perspective, you sitting on the driver's side but being a passenger. It's yeah, just all... Yeah, seems weird. I feel like I should have a steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> So for anybody watching this, you should leave a comment and tell us what it was like for you for the first time driving on the opposite side. So if you're from the UK, what was it like driving on the right side? And if you're from Europe or other places where they drive on the right, what was it like driving on the left? Because I wonder if it's as difficult for everyone or if some people get it a lot quicker. Or if you just avoid driving at all costs like we typically do <laughs> when we're in the UK. We're trying to drive more though because the car just gives you so much freedom. Don't kill us, please. I'm more nervous than she is, I think. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell myself, go with the flow, like don't go too fast, just take it easy. Forgot about all the roundabouts. Oh, first That's roundabout. First left side roundabout. Don't kill these people. <laughs> I'm not going to kill everybody just because I'm driving. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't had a speeding ticket or an accident in, I don't know, 10 years. So I think it'll be okay. First roundabout. Is this do I wait for them? Yeah. God, I forget. You gotta yield to the people inside of the roundabout. There you go. But what if I just wanna go real fast through it? <laughs> Nailed the first roundabout. Oh, yes. It was a little awkward, but <laughs> roundabouts are always, for some reason, especially when you're on the opposite side, yeah. they're just a little well, intimidating. How do you feel? All right, road trip over, right? That was enough? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just kidding, it wasn't so bad. I survived a city, or a smallish city, but a city. Before we officially get on the road though, we left all of our stuff here. So we're gonna run up, pack up the car, and then I guess we'll uh, hit the road. Although I don't know if we can check in to, to our place for a few hours. So we'll have to find something fun to do in the meantime. officially outside of the city. We're driving through the countryside. It feels good to be back in England. I don't know why, but it's just some of our favorite scenery. Yeah, I don't you know? know if you guys recognize it when you're driving through here because you're from here, but this is our favorite area to drive in. Even though it's terrifying because we have to drive on the opposite side, it's just so beautiful. These places, these like areas, what are they called? The of natural beauty? Yeah, that, I believe. Outstanding beauty. Outstanding yeah. beauty, which is such a perfect name for it. But the like beautiful rolling hills, the little sheep everywhere, these quaint little roads. Yeah, I just all these love stone all. walls all over the place. Yeah. No telling how old some of them are. Every town you drive through is really charming. We don't get much of that uh, back where we're from in the U.S. I think you can just feel how much older this nation is, right. which is something we don't get where we're from. So I think that's one of the reasons why we like it so much. Plus, you know, they speak English here, so it's always just easier to kind of connect with the culture because of that. Although we love traveling through Europe, but we haven't been able to speak English in quite a while. <laughs> yeah, and we, we do our best to learn little bits of the languages in each country we go to, but it is just nice, you know, just not having to think about it and, and mix up your languages and your hellos and your thank yous and how much is this, you know, you just kind of, going and you know what you're gonna do yeah but we're gonna have a little bit more of a drive about an hour left it's gonna be beautiful we're going through the Cotswolds yeah. which we've driven through before but we haven't seen it all everyone yeah. always recommends it yeah we were supposed to the route originally took us kind of around it but we decided to go straight through it so yeah. it should be a very scenic drive also we tweeted that we are back in the UK and everyone gave us a ton of suggestions which we really appreciate it but also everyone said oh you came right when the weather's bad but <laughs> Joke's on you because the weather is amazing today. It is. It's lovely. It was nasty this morning, but it has turned nice and sunny. Yeah, and it's been so hot everywhere else we've been this year, so yeah. we're perfectly fine it's with this fine weather. I'm okay wearing a way. jacket. Yeah. All right, back on the road. Yeah. 
we just saw a sign for something that said farmhouse market open daily. Yeah. So we I, just went down a road and we're gonna see what it is. I'm hoping they're gonna have tea and snacks because that is what I'm craving. But we are properly in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. kind of scored with this place it is super charming they have a grocery store back there and then up here they have like a little cafe with all kinds of food and tea and all kinds of cool stuff so we got broccoli courgette soup mm -hmm. which I think was a good call oh, and yeah. it was only like five pounds which isn't too bad for this giant baguette that they gave us yeah and uh, we also got some tea that hasn't arrived yet but we yes, will be so they might have forgotten but I'm about to go remind them <laughs> <laughs> They have a bunch of adorable farm animals over there, you guys. They're very social, <laughs> but we're wasting way too much time. So we're gonna get back on the road and then head to our Airbnb. Yes. Yeah. You guys, I broke my sunglasses. What do you think, are they still good? <laughs> yeah, one at a time you can wear them. I'm impressed that they last this lasted this long. These are actually yeah. from when we did our cruise. Yeah, like the Royal Caribbean ago. cruise. These were swag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how good they are at sunglasses anyway, so I should probably get some new ones. But for now, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. Is that it? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you turned it off. No. <laughs> Thank goodness we're in England where half the time it's cloudy. I forgot what the word for cloudy was. Hooray. <laughs> okay, just in one time. We've made it to the Airbnb we're gonna be staying in. It's called, uh, I think the town is called Kyneton, K-I-N-E-T-O-N. I don't know, it's just in the middle, kind of north in the Cotswolds, and it is, I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. We just went to the grocery store. It's like 15 minute drive to one. Yeah, but the place that we're staying in is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna give you guys a proper look around tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for that video. Um, when we were at the store, we grabbed a uh, local beer, Battle mm -hmm. Down. It's nice uh, and brewed in the Cotswolds. Amber. Yeah, it's actually really tasty. Have you tried it yet? Oh no. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, but that's that's delicious. But I hope you guys enjoyed our little driving adventure today. We're gonna have many <laughs> more driving adventures coming up, <clears throat> and uh, a bunch of other awesome adventures here in the UK. It's yeah. Be good. I'm excited for all the adventures ahead, and I'm so excited to show you guys this place because it is the epitome of charming. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.